Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see HGL that is hydraulic gradient line and TEL total energy line. In order to explain them first I will draw the diagram. So here I have considered two tanks which are at different levels connected with the help of a pipeline and there is a common datum or reference. Now at the same time I would be considering I am considering small pipelines which are connected along this entire pipeline and now what will happen is first of all the center of this pipeline with respect to the datum here I am defining that this height would be Z also called as the potential head and as I am considering there are two different tanks, I will call them as tank A and tank B, maybe called as the reservoir A and B. So the direction which I am assuming is that fluid is flowing from tank A towards tank B. So the pressure over here in this tank A it would be greater than tank B. So this is the direction of flow. And when there is pressure inside this pipeline, there will be the pressure head. So at first in this pipeline which I am showing it here, there will be a pressure head denoted by P upon rho g. Now how this pressure head comes from for that we have the formula that since pressure intensity is rho g into h. So therefore H is the pressure head given by pressure intensity upon rho g. So this P upon rho g is the pressure head at section 1 which I am showing it over here as the fluid would be rising inside these pipelines. So I am denoting them as first, second and third. Okay, So, so just to explain them there can be any more number of pipelines as well. Now when the fluid further moves the pressure intensity will go on decreasing at the same time the pressure head will also decrease in the remaining pipelines. So the pressure head falls so P upon rho g in the respective pipelines the pressure will go on decreasing in the direction of flow and even as we see here the datum also goes on reducing now z plus p upon rho g it is called as the piezometric head that is if i add them pressure head P upon rho g plus z called as the piezometric head in terms of meter. So it can be clearly seen that the piezometric head is made up of the potential head or the datum head plus the pressure head and when I join the top ordinates of all these levels I am going to get a line and this should be a dotted line because it is an imaginary line joining the top ordinates. 
so this line which i have considered by the addition of the pressure head and the potential head is nothing but the hgl also called as the hydraulic gradient line so this is hgl in other words hgl can be plotted as an imaginary because it is an imaginary line which is joining the top ordinates of these piezometers considering the pressure head and the potential head it gives the sum of both of them so this is the hydraulic gradient line called as hgl now in this hgl if we add the velocity head also called as the kinetic head then it becomes the total energy line so what i'll do here is i'll draw another line joining the top ordinates parallel to the hgl now this line would be called as the tel total energy line and here i am considering that there is a velocity head also so it is v square by 2g the velocity head in the respective pipelines again v square by 2g in pipeline second and similarly for the third v square by 2g so tel or the total energy line is obtained by adding the velocity head in the piezometric head that is p upon rho g the pressure head plus z the potential head together they are called as piezometric head in that when i am adding the velocity head also called as kinetic head which is v square by 2g i am going to get a line which is called as the total energy line and here we can clearly see that total energy line will always be above the hydraulic gradient line now in this case i had considered tank a to be above and tank b below now if the pressure would have been here we can see that the hgl is decreasing along the direction of flow even the tel is decreasing along the direction of flow but if the pressure at the bottom tank would have been greater and in that case at both hgl and tel would have increased so it is nothing so in such a way that always tel and hgl should decrease they can even increase depending upon the direction of flow and the amount of pressure now when this tel is decreasing it means there is some loss and that loss is called as the head loss due to friction also called as the major loss because if the tel line i am taking an example if the line would have been perfectly horizontal tel so this case would be there of tel being horizontal without friction it means there is no head loss due to friction called as hf so when there is no friction at that case the tel would be a horizontal line but since here we are getting an inclined line so the difference between the horizontal line and this inclined tel is called as hf the head loss due to friction and this head loss due to friction we can clearly say that it is it can be calculated either by using the darcy weber formula or chazy's formula and over here we can see that it is the difference in without tel considering without friction and with friction as we can see over here so in short that was the video regarding hgl and tel at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you'll can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching